Okay, so I think I've been going about a couple of things in the wrong way. I don't think we're going to be using these arrays. I think we're just going to be populating these bullions um, that are a field to our middle stone occupants. Um, but that means we need to change some stuff around. Uh, so in our determined horizontal win, we're doing this thing where we flush our matches and then we set our middle stone matches. And then we were going to run this lateral connect. Yeah, I think I think we still want to do something like that with that function, but um, I think we need to fix this array, kind of take this array out so that we don't have to worry about it, and then just worry about the booleans um, or our orthogonal middle stone matches. So I'm going to go ahead and find the instance of this left orthogonal middle stone match D. Okay, so we're basically going to just delete any instance of this. just want to delete just with the keyboard then. We've got some here. Tester. We don't want to do this anymore. Just worried about that boolean. that do? Why does period delete things? I don't think period deleted things. So we still might use this function here. I just want to double check that our... Okay, yeah, we don't have that match ID anymore. So we might be good there. But the thing is, we need... Um, we need another boolean in our occupant class. So, if we go to our occupant class, we can add a top orthogonal middle stone match. And we can initialize that to false, just like the other ones. And then we can also um, give us a bottom orthogonal middle stone match and then we kind of have to make sure we do oopsie kind of have to make sure we do the old right here when we populate a tester we flush it back to false so we would want to I guess put it here as well we can go ahead and shift select this whole line, yank it, and then paste it, and then modify only the top orthogonal middle stone match, and we can paste again, and do 
to make the bottom seat. Vim is starting to be better, but I don't have to look at what I'm doing. Um, it's, it is becoming cooler to use as I get better with it, but I'm still learning that touch typing. Okay, so now we've got this boolean. So what we used to do was have an array that was kind of keeping a value for each grid, and each grid was cryptic in a one being a white, a two being a black, a zero being a no stack control. But instead, I decided a better way to do it would be to just add a, a field in that occupant class called whether or not, you know, a left orthogonal um, middle stone match. And maybe middle stone match is not the right word. It's like for this, since we want to be able to test the match on even a column of two and four, ultimately for a first and last connect test, we want to just call this like left match, right match. And the match meaning we have the same stack, we have the same um, stack control, and the orthogonal space next to us has the th same um, stack control. So I think we would and could change this to just left match, right match, top match, bottom match. And then we would have to do something special in order to run it. See, this is confusing because once, as soon as we flush those values for checking a middle uh, or a first connect or last connect, I think that puts us at risk of losing some data because um, it would overwrite our middle stone match. So, do we keep this as its own separate? Can still have it left match right match because we will only be modifying the left match right match field in our two and four columns as well so that shouldn't overwrite anything in our center so i think we would be able to get away with this so let's rename our left orthogonal middle stone match and we can do this by doing um, we do this and then leader s nope leader s and we can say that we just want this to be left match is just globally replacing all of those boolean variables we'd still have to change it in our occupant class though but that isn't so bad i think this is a smarter way to do it and it's easier to uh oh but you know we need um since we need to keep track of two different colors we need to yeah we need to keep track of two different colors. Um, so I think we need to do this a little different even. And do this left match white. And then right match white. That replace should have 
fixed it everywhere. It's just like we have the right match white now. So that's a lot easier to read than the orthogonal middle stone match abbreviations. So let's go to our occupant class and make sure that these are the correct names, which now they are left match, left match, white, and So we took out our arrays, we added them to booleans, which are fields within our occupant class to determine whether or not we're at least a match with a white stone. So we would have to have duplicated booleans for our black because uh, we'd have to be able to check for a black match uh, and a white match. So we'll have to do that, but for right now, just want to see if we got these working. So what do we need to do? We initialize them false. And then anytime we place a stone, we run our determine horizontal win function, which then clears every boolean right here. Well, where is it? It's orthogonal flush. Where is our orthogonal flush? This is not right. We're missing hundreds of lines of code for all of our other functions. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know why those disappeared, but let's find Let's unfold this. Where's our flush? What the heck? We're missing hundreds of lines of code. All of our functions are gone. All of our functions are gone. Yeah, dude, we're missing 400 lines of code. Awful. We're missing hundreds of lines of code. All of our functions are gone. All of our functions are gone except for three. God damn it. 
Look, if we... What if we open a terminal and we say get diff? Look at all of our functions are gone. We accidentally deleted all of our functions. Okay. That's a little obnoxious. And since I've been saving this whole time, I can't really undo. I think we just have to get pull and redo everything. I don't know what else we'd do at this point. Um, gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know a different way to do it. It says we're up to date, but that is a lie. That's sad. I guess I that's really sad. I don't know how I deleted all of our functions, but that means we lost our folds too. So now when we whatever, man. That's just why has Vim got to be like that? Maybe I missed it. Maybe I highlighted, deleted all of our functions on on accident and it was my fault. I don't know. I'm sure that's what happened. What am I looking for here? Home get or just deleting tech. And then we're gonna go clone us attack. So C D get we have nothing. We're gonna get clone attack repo. And if you guys want to follow along at home and and or just play the current build, you can always do this. Go to github.com. You open a terminal and get clone it, you know, get clone Yahoo. Bean slash tack dot git. And then we'll make a whole clone of it. We can CD into it, and then, um, yeah, run Vim right here. Open this up. I'm actually going to close this, and then we can full screen. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, so we, uh, we're back where we started. I'm going to take out this. I'm also going to take it out. I guess might as well, as we go through this, put our folds back. So we can say it's EA to fold. Looking for that array or anything that uses our middle stone orthogonal booleans, which
Okay. So let's go ahead. We want to rename this to be left match white. And then we want this to be called also want two more values here. Um, I don't know how I did that. I just decapitalized that on accident. Bank it. Paste it. Paste it. We're going to top match white. those anywhere yet and we don't even initialize them so let's go ahead and do that um, right here say give us this whole thing got our booleans, we took out that array, so I think now we're back to where we were before we lost all our progress. Let's take a look at what we're actually doing here in a match flesh and a match function. So, right here, first thing we do is flush the matches, which goes through every middle grid and flushes all of our matches. And then we check for a match by cycling through all of the rows of our middle. And if we have a stack control of white and the stack control to the left of us is white, then we change the boolean of left match to true. Okay. So yeah, let's see if that's the case here. That sounds so bad. That sounds awful. Okay, apparently, apparently, we didn't change the bottom.
Why does that sound like such crap? Okay, same line, so... No good. Okay. Put this on the tip of the line, of course. Now, we only want to... I guess this is a question for... Right now when we're doing our determine horizontal wind check, we're first asking if there is a stack control in every column. And then at that point, if there's one in every column, we would then update this check, but we can have this check running no matter what and then we only do our I don't know because <sighs> they're all on different lines man I don't know what to tell you they're all on different lines unless I didn't save it So look, this this one I'm hovering over has a left match white and a right match white. Now if we had one with only a left match white, I don't know why that sounds like trash. Yeah, it doesn't have a right match. So the question is, like, do we even turn those true if we don't have a, uh, a white in every column? Because right now, our column check is false, but if we place one there, we get it true. I guess that would only matter for our determined horizontal wind function, which we'd be using our brilliance for, so I think it's okay for now. But, um, we need to, I guess when we're doing our, our flush, Give me a break, dude. I know that's in here. How do you get out of the search? How do you get out of the search, dude? Delete it like that. Not what I wanted. Why does that bring up my search, dude. Delete your search. Exit your search. Why do you do that? Is M last search or something? doing the wrong thing. What? Does M bring up last search or something? Because I'm just so confused. Don't know how to use Vim. 
Okay. So we've got... I think it's fine that we're populating these to true, even if we don't have light in all the columns. We know we only check for these middle lateral connects if we have everything in the each column, so um, I think that'll be okay. So I guess it comes down to what do we put in this middle lateral connect function. Now, I think we would want to, okay, we want to change the parameters here because we want to be able to flush a specific row or a specific column. Right now we're just flushing only the middle ones, but we would ultimately want to flush two and four as well. We can go ahead and say, <sighs> yeah, I guess we can just go ahead and say that we flush and two as well on all of these. And then we need to populate four and two as well on all of these. It's getting hard for me to wrap my head around already. So if we, oops, see I just lowercased all that by pressing Y. Who said why why is lowercase things? I didn't know this. Well why is yank? How did I how did I Okay, maybe it wasn't mine. I don't know how I did that. But we want here we want um, two and four, so maybe we want Also, four. So we flush all of our flush all of our booleans that can be a left match white true because we'll be running orthogonal middle stone match um, on not just our middle stack, but on our other stacks. So the whole idea is we're gonna populate those booleans every every time we update the stack control in a turn, we're gonna update the boolean of our columns two, three, and four with a left left match white, top match white, right match white, bottom match white as well as their corresponding black matches, um, depending on their surrounding stack controls. And then once we have that, it'll be easier in our lateral connect to be like, hey, does the, does the first stone that we have stack control in, in the middle, have a left match um, and a right match? If so, do a first and last connect. If not, does it have a bottom or top match? If so, does that have a, the corresponding right match? If not, does the next bottom one? So on and so forth. So I think that can work. Um, it's just gonna take. It's gonna take a bit. It's just yeah. This is a hard thing to figure out, but we're we're chugging along. We're making a little bit of progress each day. I'm going to go ahead and save everything. I'm going to make sure it runs before I commit, and it does. I don't know why that sound is so crappy. Okay. And then we'll get going on.
doing that for the other color as well once we get it for for other rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit. And then I'm gonna say I'm gonna get add with the message saying Just say added. Orthogonal. Match. Booleans. Uh, with. Orthogonal match booleans. class. Okay. We need to set our SSH. this before. And it's easier now than it was. So we do a colon, our username, then trying to use the correct touch typing without looking at the keyboard anymore. Get remote set URL origin get in github.com that should be it. And then we can get option. Nice. Okay. Um, so tomorrow we're going to be continuing. Um, what we'll have to do is we'll just worry about white for now. So what we need to do tomorrow is make sure we. Uh, are also setting true to our columns two and four on those appropriate uh, fields. And then um, and then we'll do some testing, make sure that's working as expected. And then that'll set the basis for our lateral connect function, which we're gonna write with the help of those booleans. So that'll be the big heavy lifting for this last feature. But then um, I'm hoping first connect and last connect will be simple enough to do. And then hopefully we've got ourselves a game. <laughs>